Court orders Nigerian Army to release alleged IPOP sponsor in Rivers. Justice Stephen Pam of the Federal High Court sitting in Port Harcourt has ordered the Nigerian Army to release Tochuko KK, who has been detained since July 5th over allegations of sponsoring the proscribed Indigenous People of Biafra IPOP and its militant wing, the Eastern Security Network ESN. This was after Okeke's lawyer, Chidedum Aguarangbo, filed a fundamental right enforcement suit, Vanguard reports. The court directed the service of the order on the Nigerian army, the chief of army staff, Farouk Yahaya, and the general officer commanding GOC 82 Mechanized Division in Gutawid Lagwaja, who were listed to or listed as first and to third respondents in the suit. In a 26 paragraph affidavit that was deposed to Anin Kem, the court was told that the applicant was on July 5th arrested at the Akano Ibaim International Airport by military officers. The deportment alleged that applicants that the applicant had since then remained in a military cell at Inugu. That in spite of the fact that nothing criminal or incriminating was established against him, the respondent had failed to release him or charge him to court or have him transferred to Nigeria police force and have continued to detain him at their cell without good food or water. That the men and officers of the respondents have conducted a search of his abode but all their searches and ransacking of his home did not yield anything insidious or incriminating against him or lend any credence to the vague accusations by the officers of the respondents that he was suspected of being a sponsor of the proscribed terrorist group IPOB and its ASN. That the physical, mental, and emotional health condition of the applicant is deteriorating daily under the torturous incarceration by the respondents. That I believe that there is a grave danger of the applicant dying of health issues or brain complications at the hand of the respondents except this honorable court intervenes to save his life. The affidavit further read. I mean, this is like lucky. This is like lucky, lucky, lucky. This is a very much a miraculous situation because in situations like this, especially as you understand, there is excessive, you know, military presence in the southeast. We know that before we can even have a chance to try or even understand the case, most times, usually, the lives are gone. The person is gone. So this is like extremely lucky. It's rare. I think it's extremely rare because it is extremely rare. Um, that's why even DCP Abakari is always, you know, has been accused of killing a lot of Southeasterners with the mislabeling of, you know, um, more mislabeling them as IPOP members or ESN members. Um, and they find out not to be, but or they find out to be, but the fact is that that life is taken even before an investigation begins. So yeah, this is very much lucky in this man's case. And he should be thanking his stars. So I, I pray they respect this judgment because in Nigeria, government and her agencies always disobey court judgments. That is very true as well. Um, but I think this is very much a seen-through case um, because they haven't found anything. The fact that they had the opportunity to find anything um, just shows that he's lucky because in situations like this, whatever the case is, is the case. And that's what the case is going to be. <laughs> And it ends like that. Normally, unfortunately, with a life or a soul being lost, um, there are still a few same people in the judiciary who will ask them why they are yet to arrest a single program sponsor, especially those ones in government as alleged by the former governor, by the former president, and others. Okay. Attorney of the Federation Malami has a as has as well refused to reveal the identity of Boko Haram, Isop, Yeti, and killer herdsmen terrorists in Nigeria. But in the recent killings that happened in Plato State, they're, they're already, you know, proactive and creating a whole scene and creating all these awareness to try and fix the situation. But then the same energy was not shown. The same energy was not shown when the same thing happened to, or, you know, it happened to all other Nigerians basically, all other non Fulanese because it's literally your father Fulani or your non Fulanese. That's it, that's it because <laughs> that's where you're, you're, you're judged on it's either your dad or you're not, yes or no, zero or one. That's it. Someone says one day 
the wall of Jericho will surely fall. So they quickly arrested and charged to court IPOP sponsors. Um, but the list of Bokram sponsors gifted to the government by UAE is still in Malami's pocket. So sad. Uh, somebody says, so shall the court order the release of IPOP leaders soon? At the end, Biafra will be free from the backwardness of the evil called Nigeria. Um, it is just a matter of time. I guess so. It's a matter of time. I'm um, going to have to wait it out. I, I mean, I can't even rec- recommend any solution after that. I mean, obviously, you know, someone can come up with something. But right now, the way it is, IPOP is boxed. They have to be as strategic as ever, especially as they have their leader in custody uh, 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 in government custody that is literally not a position where they'd want to be reckless in what they do especially as the government is hell bent on pushing false narratives against them to change the narrative and change the perception of IPO. I mean to some extent it is working but you know if they misbehave and you know change position I'm talking about IPOP in this case if they do that then they give you know they disarm themselves and they arm you know um, amplify the arms that uh, the government would have to use against them so yeah they should not play themselves uh someone said the judge just chopped ipop and yes money no same government to release the terrorists that doesn't make sense uh same government yeah absolutely not because your government is insane that is why they are keeping in the canoe there and that's just what it is you can't really fault anyone else it don't it don't make sense at all doesn't make sense um yeah someone here says uh we cut your clothing according to your bribe well okay so basically it's a it's a political cartoon that shows dcp uh bakari and hush poppy and dcp obviously as a tailor with a tape measuring you know um, Hush Puppet, obviously this is in a cartoon, political cartoon, and um, his statement said with the speech bubble, we cut, your, we cut your clothing according to your bribe. So creative, so apt and um, funny, but very much true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and someone here puts the picture of an Nigerian flag and puts zoo and writes zoo on each color. So obviously we have, there are two colors, green and white, but of course in, in, on each portion of the flag, Three letters, Zoo, Z O O. Sad, but this is what our country has turned into. It is everything is a joke now. And um, you know what, in conclusion, well done to the man. Well, he should thank his staff because that is very rare. And for him to, you know, be let off, for him to even have an investigation and then be let off, wow, amazing. But what do you think about it? And do not forget to like and subscribe.